Kia ora, my name is Farou Lysander and welcome to Oho Ake Books. I want to talk about Sanctum, a novel that I wrote with Armand Sueño, channeled through me. The first draft which I wrote in 2001-2002. And then from there there's been several revisions over the years before I republished it in 2012. And then of course pulled it back, revised it again. Uh, with a new proofreader and I published it again in 2016 and in 2014 too. This book is a love story and the fulcrum of that love story is my best friend or was my best friend at the time Erin Dorman in Vancouver who was a mentor to me, was a life coach, was Probably the funniest person I've ever met, ever met in my life, without a doubt. His comic genius, his dark humour, has inspired me no end. And was someone who was there for me during some of the hardest parts of my my life, through the darkest parts of my life, and was my rock through these times. Here's the fulcrum which the whole book moves around. Also, Kathy Hobbs. Now, Kathy was a woman. Some of you will know from my podcasts that I loved dearly, but being the person that I was at the time and who I identified myself as being, I didn't have the strength to see that I had this traumatic wounding of an, a, sense, of a sense of abandonment and rejection in my life. So that would that obviously kept me from allowing people to get close to me. And if they got close to me, my fear of being hurt, abandoned or rejected would self-sabotage those relationships. As a consequence of me feeling that way, I could never feel like I would wanted to reach out to her and tell, you, tell her how I felt. And when I did tell her how I felt, it was too late. And I had to channel the love that I felt for her, which was enormous, consummate, deep, and true, into this beautiful tome, this beautiful novel, Sanctum. I modeled this book on Clive Barker's Imagica, which to me is the most fantastic, imaginative, dark, fantastic, erotic, macabre, imaginative book that I've ever read. I wanted to create a book that was a homage to the master, but keep it also light, keep the essence of the love story moving through this tone, and look for my own personal redemption as I began to understand my lifetime in Atlantis, which is also part of this plot and story. So this, this book traverses through many, many, many epochs. It goes into a different timeline, a golden age. It goes into the galaxy. It goes beyond the galaxy. It goes into Atlantis. It goes into the inner world civilizations. It incorporates beings, from all parts of the multiverse. It goes to certain geographical locations around the planet on this new timeline. It and it eventually ends as all good fairy tales do with a beautiful and powerful ending. This is my favourite book out of all the books I've written. I've written some amazing books, but this book for me is without a doubt my favorite book purely for the level of imagination alone it's a great read and i hope you enjoy it when you read it too thanks for watching i really appreciate it Mateo, we'll see you soon ciao